Every year, lots of new TV shows come out on streaming services. They cover all kinds of topics and are liked by both critics and viewers. Some are mysteries, some are dramas, and some are comedies. Some are based on books or movies, and some are completely new stories. If you're looking for something new to watch, there are plenty of good options. No matter what you like, you can find something that suits your mood and interests. Today we are going to talk about the 10 best new TV shows you can watch right now. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this senior visit and hit the bell icon. This way you will get notified about all our new videos. So let's dive in and explore what each one has to offer. Where no one can find it. I like to do to her something I call a dirty fuzzy. <laughs> At number 10, we have Shogun from 2024. It's a TV show based on a book by James Clowell and a miniseries from 1980. The story is about three people from different backgrounds who meet and become friends. There's John Blackthorne, an English sailor, Lord Toranaga, a powerful leader in Japan, and Lady Mariko, who comes from a respected family. Together they learn to fight against bad people and prepare for a war. Even though Shogun is made up, it's inspired by real events. The characters are based on people who lived in the 1500s and 1600s. John Blackthorne is like a real English sailor named William Adams. Lord Toranaga is like Tokugawa Ieyasu, who was an important leader in Japan. Lady Mariko is similar to Hosokawa Garcia, who was part of a noble family. People who have watched the show say it's even better than the original from the 80s. They like how it's exciting, the actors do a great job, and it respects the original story. Where no one can find it. At number 9, we have The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live from 2024. It's a spin-off of the popular TV show The Walking Dead. This spin-off is highly anticipated and has become the most liked and well-reviewed among all the spin-offs. The story focuses on Rick Crims and Michonne. It tells us about Rick's journey after leaving the main show and Michonne's mission to find him after she discovers he's alive. They finally reunite after many years, but they face a powerful enemy called the Civic Republic Military CRM. The show introduces a mostly new cast of characters and brings us an exciting and fresh story. The Walking Dead The Ones Who Live is more emotional compared to the original series, especially in its later seasons. It explores how difficult experiences can change people, the tough choices they make to protect their loved ones and their determination to find each other in tough times. It's a great continuation of the original series that fans will enjoy. We are the last light of the world. You have to know that. At number 8, we have Tad. This TV show brings the adorable but naughty teddy bear from the movies to the small screen. It's actually a prequel to the movies Ted and Ted 2. The story revolves around Ted's life with the Bennett's family after his time in Spotlight is over. John Bennett, played by Mark Wahlberg in the movies, is a teenager facing the usual challenges of growing up. Meanwhile, Ted, voiced by creator Seth MacFarlane, is trying to figure out what to do now that people aren't so amazed by him being a talking beer. Ted mixes both adult comedy and the style of the typical 90s sitcom. It has the same tone and pace as those old sitcoms but with the edgy humor and mature themes that fans love from the movies. As John said in the movies, Ted was his only friend. Together they go through all sort of teenage adventures, from dating to trying out drugs, dealing with bullies and more. The show is surprisingly heartwarming despite its politically incorrect humor and it's just downright funny. You know what I like to do to her? Something I call a dirty fuzzy. <laughs> At number 7 we have True Detective Night Country. This season of the anthology crime drama was highly anticipated, coming five years after the last one. The story takes place in Alaska, where a group of men from the remote research station mysteriously disappear. 
As the local police investigate, they uncover other secrets, including a previous murder of a young woman that still haunts them. The detectives leading the investigation also have their own hidden truths. While True Detective Night Country might not be considered one of the best seasons of the series, those titles still belong to season 1 and 3. Jodie Foster shines in her role as the lead detective in this fourth season. She is mashed by professional boxer Kali Reyes, who delivers a gripping performance as a troubled cop dealing with her own inner struggles. The story combines traditional mystery with supernatural elements, giving it a vibe similar to the outsider meeting true detective. With moments of horror that will leave fans jumping out of their seats, it's a season that will have viewers turning on the lights at night. I'm thinking stuff. At number 6 we have Has Been Hotel. This is an adult animated music comedy featuring the voice talents of Erica Hansen and Charlie Morningstar, the princess of hell. Charlie is tired of the usual process of dealing with souls in hell, so she decides to open her own hotel to rehabilitate sinners and help them find redemption. She gets some assistance from the radio demon Alastair, although he's only there to mock her efforts because he believes these souls are beyond saving. Despite its serious subject matter, Has Been Hotel turns the concept of tortured souls into a hilarious comedy. It follows a young woman with a hopeful heart, despite being in the depths of hell. The show's first episode was mostly funded by Patreon supporters and animated by freelancers before being released on YouTube. It quickly gained attention and Prime Video picked it up. Fans have been drawn to its music, vibrant visuals, crude humor, and darkly comedic scenes. They're gonna fucking die! They're, they're gonna die! For the first time in our lives, we know. Ranked at number 5, we have Masters of the Air. The war drama takes us back to World War II, focusing on the 100th bomb group and their perilous missions in German-occupied Europe. The show delves into the intense situations these men faced and the bonds they formed amidst the drama of war. Based on the book of Donald L. Miller, Master of the Air is a companion series to Band of Brothers and the Pacific. What sets this show apart is its cast and chemistry between them. With actors like Austin Butler, Colm Turner and Barry Keoghan, the performances are compelling. The series has received praise for its high-quality production and well-developed characters. For fans of its sibling series, Masters of the Air is a must-watch. Ranked at number 4, we have Constellation. The dark and thought-provoking series follows an astronaut named Joe, played by Nomi Rapace, who returns to Earth after a failed mission. She struggles to readjust to life on Earth and begins to notice strange inconsistencies, like a piano in her home despite not knowing how to play and odd behavior from her daughter. As Joe delves deeper into the mystery, she unravels the truth about her reality. Constellation takes viewers on an emotional roller coaster as they experience Joe's desperation to uncover the truth and distinguish reality from illusion. With stellar performances from actors like Jonathan Banks, and James Darcy. The series combines elements of creepy horror with mind-bending storytelling. While the narrative may be confusing at times, it's a compelling watch for fans of Apple TV Plus's other thought-provoking shows like Calls and Severance. That was not me. At number 3, we have Avatar The Last Airbender, a live-action adaptation of the beloved animated series. Set in a futuristic world after an apocalypse, humans are divided into four groups based on their ability to control water, earth, fire, or air. Some individuals, like benders, can manipulate these elements with telekinesis. However, only one person, a young boy named Ang, has the power to bend all four elements. Portrayed by Gordon Comier, Ang shoulders the responsibility of maintaining pace between the different groups and between the mortal and spirit worlds. His primary objective is to thwart the Fire Nation's attempts to conquer the world as they function like a powerful army. Cormier delivers a standout performance as Aang, 
showcasing the character's immense power and influence. With stunning visual effects, captivating music, and impressive acting, Avatar The Last Airbender stays true to the spirit of the original animated series. Love. I'm the Avatar, and I'm gonna save the world. Coming in at number 2, we have A Murder at the End of the World, a thrilling addition to the murder mystery genre. Emma Corrin stars as Darby Hart, a talented coder and amateur detective who finds herself unexpectedly invited to a lavish party at a billionaire's mansion in Iceland. Surrounded by people she perceives as more important than herself, Darby's night takes a sinister turn when guests start turning up dead. Utilizing her passion for solving crimes, Darby sets out to unravel the mystery behind the murders, all while reflecting on her past relationship with the first victim. Unlike lighter murder mystery productions of the past decade, such as Knives Out and Only Murders in the Building, a murder at the end of the world takes on a darker and more ominous tone. However, beneath the suspenseful narrative lies a deeper exploration of society's condition, particularly revealed through the chilling conclusion. This thought-provoking series challenges viewers to contemplate the implications of its revelation, making it a gripping and unsettling watch. Careful, girl. As if you start to burn. Taking the top spot at number 1, we have The Fall of the House of Usher, a Netflix sensation that captivated audiences with its airy tale and talented cast. Released in the fall of 2023, this series garnered massive popularity thanks in part to its chilling narrative and the unique premise of blending elements from various works by poet Edgar Allan Poe. At the heart of the story is Roderick, portrayed by Bruce Greenwood, the patriarch of the Usher family and owner of the pharmaceutical business. As each of Roderick's six adult children meet a gruesome demise, it becomes evident that something malevolent is at the play. The series unfolds through Roderick's conversations with Assistant United States Attorney C. Auguste Dupin, played by Carl Lumley, as he confesses to the events leading up to the tragedies interspersed with flashbacks. The fall of the House of Usher masterfully incorporates Poe's evocative prose, transforming characters and objects into entities with which viewers can empathize or despise. As the plot unfolds, Carla Gugina's portrayal of Werner, whose name is an anagram of Raven, emerges as a key figure in unraveling the mysteries surrounding the Usher family. With stellar performances and a haunting atmosphere, this series stands out as one of the highlights of 2023. Its innovative narrative style sets it apart, marking it as a groundbreaking achievement in storytelling. If we don't stop her, you won't have a family left. What do you think about these TV shows? Which one is your favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this Cine Wizard for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications about our latest uploads.